I'm Carrie Ann Nauer and welcome to Carrie's Kitchen. Today we're going to make apple turnovers using apples, my favorite fall fruit. And uh, this is the first time that I try out this pie crust recipe too. If you've read my column over the years, you know how much I've had a fear of pie crust, but I think it turned out okay. Um, the result uh, has a nice brown coating to it and uh, look at that, we haven't had some flakes. So uh, watch and you'll learn how to make these as well. Okay, I'm going to be using a food processor instead of a pastry blender to be making my pie crust. It's just going to save me a lot of time and a lot of arm muscle. I'm adding my dry ingredients to the food processor first because we want to get those all mixed up before we start adding the butter. Not everyone does this, but I like to add a little bit of sugar when I'm making a sweet pie add that directly into the crust. We want to add a little bit of salt as well. And then to make this crust extra special, I'm going to add a teaspoon of cinnamon as well. All right, I'm gonna put on the lid and pulse it for a couple seconds to get all the dry ingredients stirred up. Now this butter I've pre-cut into half inch cubes and I put it in the freezer for 15 minutes to get it extra cold. Now if I was working with this butter from hand, it would be pretty solid, but the food processor is just really gonna cut through it and help it mix up with the dry ingredients. Now what I'm going to do is start adding very cold water, one tablespoon at a time, and then mix it up in between. What you want to do is get the butter to start forming almost like pea or pebble sized crumbs within the food processor. I think this is the hardest part because the water, it's hard to get it to evenly mix in with what you have inside of the food processor container. See how it's starting to clump together here in large clumps? But then there are smaller ones on the bottom as well. Now when I squeeze it, the butter's sticking together and that's exactly how you want the texture to be. I'm going to put it out on my clean work surface. I'm going to form it into the shape of a disc before I put it back in the refrigerator to get nice and cold again. Now you want to pat it together but not too much because you want to keep those butter crumbs within it. That's what's going to give you a flaky crust. So I'm trying to be as gentle as I can but you also want to get the air bubbles out as much as possible before you start doing your rolling later. I'm going to wrap this up in some plastic wrap and put it in the fridge. Most recipes recommend that you do this for at least an hour.
All right, I'm gonna use one very large Granny Smith apple for this recipe. And I'm gonna peel it. If your family's not picky, I say go ahead and leave on the skins. A lot more nutrition that way. Now I'm cutting this into about quarter inch thick slices and I'm putting it in my onion slicer. And this is gonna make perfectly even quarter inch diced apples for me. It really helps save a lot of time too. Adding my sugar. And a little bit of ginger. And some more cinnamon. Can't have apple turnovers without cinnamon. A little bit of cornstarch, and that's gonna make the juices make a little bit of a thicker gel on the inside. I'm gonna give it all a good stir, especially to get the spices evenly distributed. And now, this is the really neat part. You're gonna put some applesauce in as well. Granny Smith's aren't exactly the juiciest apple. This is gonna give it a little bit more juice and some thickness too. Now this is some homemade vanilla that I made. You put your vanilla beans into some alcohol and I let it sit for two to three months and then look how brown it got. Mixing that up. All right, now we're gonna preheat the oven. It's been an hour, so now the pie crust is ready to be rolled. I'm gonna put a generous amount of flour down onto the countertop. You're gonna to wanna to roll this out into a 16 by 11 rectangle. So go wide with your flour. Better to use too much than too little. I'm also gonna get it on my hands so that the dough won't stick to my hands and on the rolling pin as well. The dough disc is pretty solid after an hour, so I'm going to have to really use some muscle on here. Okay, so I trimmed it into as close of an exact rectangle as I could, and now I'm gonna divide it up into my individual squares for the baking. Each of your squares should be about five by five inches. Now I'm gonna take my apple mixture, stir it up again, you don't want anything to have sunk down, especially the juicy parts. I'm gonna put a little bit in the center of each of my squares.
try to leave almost an inch on the edges so that you can use that room to seal up your pie crust. Now you can try some variations here. I'm putting craisins in some of these. Craisins are dried cranberries. It'll bring out a little extra tartness because once the apple bakes it won't be as tart as it was when it was fresh. I also put some walnuts in some of these. Now I'm preparing my egg wash. Just one egg, stir it up so that you can mix up the egg yolk and the white. And add a little bit of milk to it to make it a little bit thinner. And I'm going to brush the egg yolk all around the edges. I'm just going to help it to seal up. Now if it's sticking, you know, just keep working on it. The quicker you can do this, the less likely it is to stick. As it warms up, it, it sticks worse to the countertops. And then I just kind of fix up any cracks once I get it out. Push them down, add more dough if you have to, if anything tore. And I did put a coating of more egg wash on top as well so that it'll brown up nicely. And I'm making some vents. Great, and we let these bake. You might want to check it a couple times throughout. You don't want them to get too dark brown. If they do, put some aluminum foil over on top. But I was lucky, these came out looking nice on the first try. And there you have it, homemade apple turnovers.